So if you're a fan of in-ear headphones for gaming, then you have got to check these out. What's up everybody, Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews here, and today we are taking a look at the Kimura Duo Gaming Headset from Antlion Audio. What looks like just a bundle of wires actually packs a punch, so I'm excited to show them to you today. And what you might not have realized is that I'm actually talking into the headset microphone right now. Testing one, two. In this video, I'll cover the specs and buying options, the sound and mic quality of them. I'll do a little bit of gaming with them, and then I will share my summary of thoughts on if you should consider purchasing them or not. The Kimuras I have today are the Duo package for $150, but there are also the Kimura Solos for $100, and you can even purchase the Kimura mic by itself for $60 and attach your own IEM earphones. What came in the box for the Duos was the two IEM earphones already attached with the mic on the right piece, six silicone ear tips, a pair of memory phone tips, a zip-up travel case to take them with you and also a three and a half millimeter Y adapter that allows you to put both the mic and headphones into a single audio jack, which we'll see in just a little bit when I use it with a gaming controller. Side note that I was not able to immediately use this headset for recording on my Mac Studio because it only has an audio jack that does not allow for mic input, so I had to get a USB to mic and audio adapter to solve this. Antlion does make their own, so if you're in the same situation as myself, you can get it for about $12, and keep that in mind if you aren't able to use the supplied Y adapter. The immediate thing that I appreciated about the Kimuras is how nice they look with a solid resin design. The duos that I have come in blue and the solos come in red. They look great and I really like the subtle touches such as gold accents inside the resin, giving them a unique and premium look. The duos have a cable length of two meters, which I did find adequate, and while a bit longer would be nice, I have to say that it would be a pain to have more length because they tangle up on themselves very easily. The earpieces feature bendable metal that allows them to keep their shape from the last time you use them and wrap around your ear for a more customized fit. Now one thing I dislike about wired headsets is that they don't go over the top of my head, so it feels like they're kind of hanging from my ears, but Antlion did add a clip to keep the wires in place at your shirt collar, which is important because the mic is very sensitive and can easily pick up sounds from the wires brushing against your cheeks and shirt. The headphones themselves feature dynamic drivers that sound great and provide a good mixture of sound quality and clarity. But like with any IEM, they do lack any thick bass that you would find in a larger over-ear headset, but the punchy and crisp sounds out of these provide the type of quality that would suit most competitor games well. In just a little bit, I will do some gaming with them and also compare it to other mics that I have, but the Kimura Duos are excellent excellent in a wide range of scenarios. Not only are you able to use them for a normal gaming PC, but they also pair really well with gaming on my PS5 through the audio jack of the DualSense controller that allows you to both hear your game and use your mic. They also work really great with a Steam Deck or ROG Ally because in addition to being usable with handheld console audio jacks, they are also very easy to travel with in the included carrying pouch, or you can just toss them in your Steam Deck or Ally's travel case. Now let's hop into some gaming and see how they do. Okay, so let's dive into some testing with the Kimura Duo headphones and mic. Uh, right now I have the mic maybe about four or five inches away from my face, so it doesn't pick up audio as well as I would like for it to have, but I, because I can't get it closer to my mouth. I have a very large head where I wear a size eight hat, and so unfortunately things like this just aren't built for me, but I would love to see a little bit more length in the microphone arm. One thing I also found is that when I try to adjust the mic too close to my mouth, uh, it actually pulls the IEM out of my ear canal a little bit, so this is about the max that I'm going to be able to have it right now. Okay, so we're going to dive into a game of Dead by Daylight. This is a really great game to test out the auditory functions of these Kimura duos because you need to be able to locate survivors through hearing. So I'm going to play a killer called the Spirit where basically when you activate her power you lose sight of the survivors that you're chasing and you can only hear them. So we're going to see how well I can locate these survivors based on this headset. So let's go ahead and dive into a match and see how it does. One thing while the game is loading that I also want to do is test this mic versus a SteelSeries Arctis Pro headset that I have and also an actual streaming mic from FiFine that I like to use uh, just so you can kind of see the audio comparisons between the mic quality uh, we'll do that in just a little bit okay oh i don't know this map at all so i'm not gonna be the best killer all right let's see what we got here i hadn't played in a while so let's see if we can find some people i've got good direction on where i can hear stuff uh not a ton of bass which is fine i don't expect that from an iem headset let's see if we can find old nicholas cage here <laughs> Okay, I can hear him pretty well. Alright, bot's already got a gin done on me. Let's throw him up on a hook. Uh, yeah, so like I said a second ago, uh, the, there's not a ton of bass with these headsets, which is fine. I mean, that's what you expect with IEM. The sound quality is very good, though. I will say that. It's really good sounds. Alright, as soon as my ability comes back, I'll uh, phase and see if I can hear him running. Alright, let's listen. Listen. 
I did hear him. Yeah, I could I could locate where he was pretty well. Oh my gosh, I'm getting looped by bots here. Dead by Daylight bots have gotten so much better. Woo! I missed that. That was embarrassing. Like I said, I haven't played in a while. I have no perks. All right, let's see if I can hear him. Oh, okay, I heard exactly where he was. I just mistimed my hit. Okay, perfect. Okay, you know, as far as being able to locate where survivors are around me, it actually does a really good job. Um, I think not only is the sound quality good... Uh-oh, there's a hook. There's a hook. Not only is the sound quality good, uh, I, you know, I can locate and it has really great directional sounds, which is important if you're going to use them for gaming. Oh, yeah, I heard him breathe. Okay, I love this. I think these headphones are great. You know, I use a pair of Sennheiser uh, 6D XXs uh, that really, you know, they're going to give a much better audio quality, obviously, and much better directional sounds. However, I'm very happy with how these sound. I really am. Okay, having trouble determining exactly how far away I am, but I know exactly where they're at at least, which is great. That's exactly what you want to see out of these headphones when you're playing this game. Jesus, I'm getting looped by these bots. They've gotten so much better. You don't follow me for my gaming abilities. You follow me for uh, my reviews, right? Hopefully. Sounds are great, though. I mean, seriously, the levels... My ability to differentiate what sounds are what are really nice. Oh, I heard him. I heard him. All right, we're definitely going to lose this match to bots, but it's my first time playing in like eight months, so go easy. So I got to say, using the headset, though, I'm really impressed with the sound quality. Hopefully the mic quality is com coming across great as well. Um, definitely usable very much usable for gaming scenarios uh, where you need to be able to hear what's around you and quality if you're someone who likes iems i'm not the biggest fan of them personally but if you like iems uh, i think these are a great option for you okay so now we're going to dive into another game called the texas chainsaw massacre that i would say probably doesn't have quite as good balanced audio as a game like dead by daylight does so i'm going to play killer on this game as well but it also requires communication through a mic with your team um, so we're going to showcase using it just in a complete online match where you can communicate. While we're waiting for the match to start, though, I will say that I like that they put this clip on the wires right here. Because if they're just hanging from your ears, I think that would get uncomfortable after a while. But because of this clip and because of how well they fit on my ears right here, like it, you kind of forget that you even have them on except for the part that's in your ear canal. So I definitely like how comfortable they are for long periods of gaming just so you know this game is a little pg-13 or even rated r a little bit so uh, you know fair warning that there's going to be some not so nice things happening to survivors or we call them victims on this game oh there's somebody come here girl let's get you uh Oh my gosh. Okay, like three good hits there. That's not bad. Uh, chainsaw always stalls on you when you run out of stamina, so... And it's really hard to see because I have these lights shining off my screen that I'm using for the recording. And this is kind of day in the life of playing Leatherface. Uh, you just kind of run around revving your chainsaw hoping to find somebody. Oh, there's Leland. Go back to the sled. It's hard to review products and play a competitive game, so bear with me a little bit. I will say that the audio is very crisp. Very kind of punchy and crisp, which is nice. Oh, there's a barrier I need to get rid of. Got her! Yay, we got Connie! Um, I couldn't really hear her because my solo is so loud, but hey. The headset is making the game better, I think. Oh, there's one over there by car battery. Oh, I think I saw somebody. Hey, we got another one! The I think the headset helps me see her. Uh, <laughs> that's not a very good review, is it? Alright, there's still another one over here, though. Okay, I found Leland. Watch this. Hey! That's three! Alright, we just need one more. 
Let me know in the comments below what games you would use a headset like this for, as I, I would love to hear from you. you power down the gate. Oh, okay. She turned off the generator. Well, good game though. Still got three kills at least. Okay, so, you know, hopefully the mic quality came across good. I think from an audio perspective that it, it does have a lot of great quality audio and it is very punchy. Um, it doesn't have a lot of depth because there's not a lot of bass to it, but how badly you actually need that, I don't know, because I could still hear footsteps, I could hear breathing, I could hear where they were at around me, so I think that, I think they do a good job from that standpoint. Okay, so now that we just wrapped up with gaming, I wanted to do some tests with other audio inputs, so like this SteelSeries Arctis 7 p pro headset i can't remember exactly what it's called um this is the mic quality that i get from a headset like this um personally i think that the cameras are going to be a little bit better i think they sound a lot better they're a much uh, higher quality microphone i mean this is a great headset right i personally prefer over ear headsets like this but they do get hot um they they are kind of heavy on the head and you don't want to get that streamer bump right where you got like a dip in your head so this is a good indication of how the uh, quality on just a natural gaming headset is so let's also check out the five fine microphone so you can see the difference okay so right now i have this five fine ampligame a8 microphone i reviewed it in the past it's a fantastic mic and i really like the way that it sounds uh, sometimes i'll actually use this mic for my voiceover work now you know this is what you would take the next level up to if you wanted to stream or have better mic quality uh whenever you're playing your games online with your friends so so it's probably going to sound quite a bit better than the camera duo mic however i will say that for what you get on that little iem headset that mic is really good and i'll show that comparison here in a second but i just want to you to hear what um, a more expensive dedicated microphone sounds like um, this mic comes in at almost the price of the entire Kimura headset package to show you how good of a deal that I can actually be so I know you just heard a bunch of gaming with the Kimura headset but let's just do a dedicated you know me talking to you so you can hear how good it sounds compared to the steel series headset that you just heard and also this five fine microphone okay so now I have the Kimura duo microphone here and I'm actually holding it like a microphone in front of me because I wasn't sure how accurate uh, the quality would come whenever it's not as close to my mouth as it could be. I think for the average person, it'll be a lot closer to your mouth. So this is more of a true audio of what you're going to get out of this mic. I think for the price for this headset, if you're an IEM person, is fantastic. And I really think that it's good quality. Now that you've heard audio from three different microphones, I would love to know in the comments which one you think sounds the best and which one you think is the better one for the price. But let's head back over and summarize my thoughts on this and if I think that you should consider purchasing them. So for my overall thoughts on the Camera Duos, I think they're simply fantastic if you like IEM headsets. This is my first of gaming focused IEM, so I can't speak to how well they hold up against the competition from a sound standpoint, but I can say that the quality is nice and provides what you would need to competitively game. But the mic on the other hand is just plain awesome. I was extremely surprised at how good it sounded for such a small form factor and Kimura definitely realizes how good the quality is because they do have the option to purchase just their mic and attach whatever IEMs you want to it. Now personally I'm not big on using IEMs for gaming, however I'm so impressed with these that I think they would make an excellent travel gaming headset and I will be taking them with me. And one feature that I don't know that a lot of people think about is I really like how they keep you cool when using them as my over ear headphones can get hot whenever I'm gaming for long periods of time. But I will say that they're not perfect for me personally. I do wish there was a bit more size to them as with a larger head, it's difficult to place the mic in a good distance from my mouth without having audio levels maxed out. And one other thing that I'm not a huge fan of is that they're kind of a pain to put on and wrap around your ears. But overall, I think that if you purchase the Camaro Duos, I would be very surprised if you were disappointed as for the quality you receive it'll be tough to beat them for the price and if you're interested in checking them out for yourself i do have links in the description down below but i would love to hear from you on what your thoughts are about the camera duos and if there's any gaming headsets that you love that you currently use but be sure to subscribe if you haven't already as the channel is rapidly growing this year and i would love for you to be a part of that growth but thank you for your time and spending some of your day with me again i'm corey with freaky tech reviews i'll see you next time <music>